supposed to be uh, clean and dry, right? Clean and dry, there it is. Clean and dry. <laughs> Scallywag style. Bam. Let's go for a boat ride. Let's do it. We have a boat. Bunch of scallywags, what are you doing today? Nothing, nothing special. Launching Thor. Sailing. Sailing. Electric Sailing. motor research, come on. That's right, if you remember this donated boat, you know, it, it's awesome, it was free, but a uh, little bit of work. We did all these new bulkheads and chain plates and sorted out some of the rigging. And now it's time to get out and go for a sea trial. If you saw the video about us putting up the mast and, and getting everything sorted out, um, the boat's still sitting in the, in the same place. So we just hooked on with the pickup truck and uh, that's Jacob in there helping out. We got everything ready through the ladder on top and away we went. Super cool being one block away from the marina here is that there's no obstructions and so we could just leave the mast up and, and drive the boat right over to where it's actually gonna live. So right up here, where we're backing up, you can see this little uh, fenced-in area with all these small boats and the masts up. That's part of the uh, Waterfront Alliance, the Anacortes Waterfront Alliance, and it's the small boat center where we will actually leave the Thor will live there. And so in that little shed, there's an electric mule that you can just grab onto the trailer, the boat, and send it down the ramp. Um, it's actually light enough that you can just push it with a couple of people. but um, And then fully rigged, you just get the lifting bridle out and you can splash it in the water. And so what a great setup. Once you roll the boat down the dock, it's super easy with our lifting bridle. You can see this nice crane that they have set up here. And it, it's super inexpensive. I think it's $3 to, uh, to launch the boat. Um, and then uh, easy enough for one or two people. It's easier with two people, get a tagline and whatnot. We had a whole crew there, and it, it's going to be fun. Hopefully the boat club uses this often. We always have people who are experienced sailors that are becoming technicians or just you know students that want to learn how to sail and see what it's all about. And so this is going to be a perfect boat for that. We're, we're doing the uh, electric research that we talked about because we're considering the electricians making this um, electric. It'd be a perfect candidate for an electric boat because we need like less than a 10 mile range. It's mostly just to get in and out of the, the marina or to get back if, if the winds die. So purpose today was to uh, get Jacob's electric motor and go out and uh, figure out how much energy we need, how much how much horsepower, how many kilowatts, and stuff like that, so. Chris, what are we doing today? We're uh, testing the um, Thor. Testing out our, its new uh, electric motor. Yeah? It's pretty cool. Let's see if we really want one for it. We're testing an electric motor on our new boat. Yeah. We got a little e-propulsion, one kilowatt, and we're, uh, testing to see how big of a motor and battery bank we want to put on this boat yeah. for reels next year. To see if we really want it. Yeah. Well, this is what research looks like. Jacob's in the program mostly for the electrical and electric propulsion. That is his big passion. And so he's a good spreadsheet person and they're just gathering a bunch of data. Um, this little one 90%. kilowatt pushes the boat along really nice. Um, and that's an option is just to it keep electric outboard sales. like that but it would look so much better to clean up the transom and just have a little pod mount or something so we'll see but uh scallywag keith was also out there that's his his sailboat right there with his dinghy and you can see we there's a great day to, to test an electric motor on flat water um, but they were really hoping to get some sailing time in and off to the side you can't see we've got our 14 foot aluminum marlon that's another student boat club boat that they use for crabbing and adventures and so we thought if it'd be good to have it out there to do some photography and just to, to be a support boat and it was just a nice day so everybody just wanted to kind of be on the water they did get the start getting the sails up and they seem to be in good shape um, we'd looked at them at, at 
in the shop, but to, to be out in the water and pull up a sail and, and just get out and, and go would be nice. And I was just like, oh, they need more wind. But it turns out uh, this little 20 foot Santana, of course, is an excellent light wind performer. And so once they, they got the main sail up and then um, pulled up the jib, and sure enough, there was just the tiniest breeze you can see that picked up. Uh, the sail's just a little fluttery right there, but it was just enough. Bam, all of a sudden that boat just came alive. And um, it, it wasn't breaking any speed records, but had great steerage and uh, was super fun for the crew to actually just get a little bit of time under sail. And of course, we'll be doing this more and more because it's such a delightful boat to sail. When the crew got back, they reported absolutely super fun. Um, great way to spend a day and of course in the San Juan Islands we have all these little marine parks and places you can go and anchor and and uh, or grab a mooring ball and go to shore and have a fire or just camp out for a night and so I think we're going to get a lot of great usage out of this boat. Alright, here's Keith. then of course the 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 crew said wait a second saddlebags only four miles away we've got a nice yamaha outboard let's go on a side trip let's go over to saddlebag which is a place that i mentioned you can camp there and have fires or whatever and so there's just enough wind that the the two sailboats were having fun chasing each other around and um, the scally wagon went over and to uh, saddlebag there straight ahead the little one on the right is dot island and um, yeah, it, it was a fun day out in the San Juans for sure. Um, you can see that in the cove here, saddlebag looks like a saddle. It's got two little coves in the north and south side. And so they just powered up and then rode in and did a nice little hike, got out, stretched the legs and whatnot and while the, the sailors were sailing around. And uh, this is one of the, you know, this is all in the name of research, of course. Uh, scallywags that's what we do so you can see the water's clear uh, hard to beat this this weather and this area for cruising that's for sure ah the beautiful majestic saddlebag island very nice Ah, and there comes Keith. And then end of the day, I'll have to get the spreadsheet from Jacob. They didn't run the, they didn't completely deplete the battery. I think it's 1.2 kilowatt hours, 1.3, something like that. Uh, but we, they ran it plenty to, to get uh, some numbers and figure out what we need, and then we can go forward with starting to order some parts, and figuring out battery banks and stuff like that. We have some lithium batteries kicking around Marine Tech, and so. Um, overall a great day got to do some sailing uh, that little breeze was just enough and you can see now they're back in the marina that it totally died off again after the little saddlebag excursion with the uh, the scally wagon the marlon aluminum skiff crash. but uh, yeah we threw it back up on the trailer and it'll live there and now we can continue to use it and enjoy it and that's what we do at marine tech all about having a good time on boats stay tuned uh, upcoming video and we'll we'll actually get into this whole idea of an electric conversion this will be one of our projects we're super excited about so thanks for watching